Look at those juicy shrimp just sizzling away on the barbecue. Guys, as you know, every July we always do the month of grilling. So this is where we're at today. The first recipe in July's month of grilling for 2013. And we've got scotch bonnet. Mm. Fire, pure Caribbean fire as well as honey in this marinade that we marinated this shrimp so you're gonna get a scotch bonnet honey grilled shrimp you're gonna love it Chris here caribbeanpot.com always a pleasure to have you here in the kitchen well today we're in the backyard we're on the grill let's get grilling we'll need to marinate the shrimp to really infuse it with all the flavors so I have here a thick ziplock bag just gonna open it up and in there I'm gonna add one pound of shrimp and what I did was it's already cleaned, deveined and washed and I left a little bit of the tail part on. That's just for presentation. Just gonna open that up there. As this marinates, it's a good thing back here. What I have is I have my skewers, my bamboo skewers, soaking in water. And you want to do that so uh, they don't burn easily when you put them on the grill. And here I have the one pound of shrimp. As I said, 1620, so they're fairly big. I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of olive oil. A little pinch of sea salt, one scallion that I chopped up finely, two scotch bonnet peppers, and they were small, so if you want you can use one large, or you can certainly cut back on that if you're um, scared about the heat. Uh, a teaspoon of chopped up very finely, if you want you can crush it, garlic. And finally, some honey to balance off all of that heat from that scotch bonnet pepper. If you want to control the heat on that scotch bonnet pepper, don't use any of the seeds or the white membrane that uh, directly surrounds. Yeah, I'm using my fingers. That directly surrounds the, um, the pepper. The seeds, sorry. All we're going to do now is take some of that air out of there, seal it. You want to have a little bit of air in there. And all you're going to do now is massage everything in this bag because you really want to make sure all those flavors get onto all of that shrimp that we have in there stick that in the fridge for one hour we're gonna marinate that for one hour after they've been marinating all you want to do is get one of those wet skewers and you're gonna go from the the thicker part of the shrimp poke it through there up into skinny aside and there you go all you're gonna do you're gonna do about three of them on each one so again well we can spin them around so right, so we're gonna do two per skewer there we go I'm just gonna continue skewing these guys up and then we're gonna go outside on the grill all you gotta do is sort of oil down your grill so the shrimp doesn't stick on there I've got a little bit of cooking spray that I'm going to use. You can wet a paper towel with vegetable oil and put it on there. I have three burners on my grill here but I only have uh, this one on at the moment. Uh, it's a nice hot grill maybe about 375 degrees I think it is and all I'm going to do is put them on that lightly greased grill surface here. And let those go for about three or four minutes on one side and we're going to flip them over. The key here is not to overcook the, uh, the shrimp or they will go rubbery. It's time to flip these bad boys around and I know my grill guys, you got to learn and know your grill intimately. I know down here is cooler than say back here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these guys, flip them over here and so forth. But all we're doing is moving these, flip them over. Mmm, smelling wicked. So it's just a matter of flipping them over, put the lid back on there, and let them grill for a couple minutes more. Five, uh, five to seven minutes, anywhere between there, depending on the heat of your grill. And these bad boys are all done now. And that was very simple, don't you think, guys? Look at them. Mmm. They're going to be tasting wicked in a few minutes. I've got some rice inside that I'm going to enjoy these bad boys with and this is my dinner all dressed up ready to be introduced to my tummy oi smelling good looking nice 
Chris at CaribbeanPod.com. As always, it's been a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. Do give this recipe a try. Don't be intimidated by the scotch bonnet peppers. Don't use the seeds. Don't use the stuff, the white membrane surrounding the seeds, and you'll be good. Cut back on the pepper if you want, but do allow it to marinate for that hour. Mm -hmm. You're going to be enjoying one of the best summer dinners ever. Guys, you're going to make an impression. Guys, do check out the website CaribbeanPod.com and thanks so much for your support. Remember, new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Entire month of July is going to be about grilling. Have a good one.